Hi everyone, Wayne Wallace here, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how to back up your WordPress website and uh, restore it because it's all good and well to back it up, but if you don't know how to restore it, then you're in trouble. So uh, this came about because of this post right here. Um, Daniel asked uh, a question about is exporting XML files good enough for backing up, and then Wesley down here or Welsh, Welshy, um, as, um, gave a suggestion of using this plugin, WP Clone, uh, by WP Academy, which I had not used yet, and uh, actually I've never even done a backup of my website yet, so I knew that was something that I needed to start doing, and you should do it on a regular basis, uh, backup, and um, I'm going to show you how, but I wanted to go through the whole process of backing up and restoring because I've heard of numerous stories of people that did backups on a regular basis and then when it came to restoring that backup they had no clue how to do it and even sometimes the backup was corrupted. So you want to make sure you know how to restore from a backup and do it quickly and easily. So let's get into it. I'm going to go over here to uh, my website which is how to protect your privacy online.com okay and this is my website and it's got many posts on it okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to the dashboard and then we're gonna install the plugin WP clone which I've already done but I'm going to show you how to do it come over here to plugins click on add new and then in the search box you want to put WP clone do a search and then it should be the first one you can see it's already installed for me uh, then after you install it it's going to say activate and you want to click on the activate and then you'll have a little menu item down here so when you click on this menu item WP clone you're going to be given an option uh, to back up your website so here it's basically just telling you um, you know what I'm gonna tell you and here's the create backup and here's the restore so it's pretty simple just say create backup and click on that I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it then what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you a URL of where your backup zip file is located it puts it in your WP content uploads WP clone folder so if you bring up your FileZilla or whatever FTP client you use and you navigate to your HTTP docs folder and your WP content folder and your uploads folder and your WP clone folder, you'll see the zip file right there. Now what I would also recommend is downloading this zip file and backing it up somewhere maybe putting it on a hard drive or on Dropbox or just somewhere where you have an extra copy of it and that way you're, you're safe in case your whole website gets blown away for some reason at least you still have this WP clone um, image backup so let me go show you one that I've downloaded so here's my WP clone uh, zip file right here that I downloaded to my hard drive and then I unzipped it and I want to show you what's inside of it because it's essential that you understand what you're actually doing here so here's your WP content folder it's got your index it's got your plugins it's got your themes it's got your um, upgrade files I guess uh, it's got uploads that you've made like image uploads so it's got all the contents that you basically put into your website right here and with as, as uh, with respect to plugins and themes and all that stuff now the actual content of your website 
is in the database. So this is the SQL database. And if I just bring this up in a text editor, you'll see here it's got a bunch of commands. Okay, and these commands are database SQL commands, and it basically says insert, you know, into this table, you know, this information. Okay, so these may be posts, these may be page contents, maybe comments. It's all the essentials that make up your website, all the data that's in your website. So that's what the database looks like. And then there's a prefix file. And this prefix file is what is used by your um, uh, your WP config file. If you manually set up a WordPress website, you have to put in your database prefix. And this is the database prefix right here. Okay. So whether you want to upload this to the same server or a different server, you have everything you need to be able to reconstruct that website um, anywhere you want. So I'm going to show you how to restore to the same server in this video. So let's go back over to my w, my uh, my admin for your privacy online. And I'm going to go to my posts section. And we're going to wait for that to come up. Okay. And so I have all these posts, all right? Well, the first post is search the web anonymously. All right, I'm going to delete that post. Okay, so I'm going to put it in the trash. And then I'm going to go to the trash. And I'm going to empty the trash. So let's just say you did that accidentally <laughs> and you <coughs> then you really wanted that page or that post. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to WP clone and I'm going to restore my website from that backup. So we'll just wait for the web to catch up with us here. All right. And now I'm going to restore from URL. I'm going to go over to the text file where I copied that URL and I'm going to paste it in. Now this URL I got from WP clone after it did the backup it showed me the URL and I just copied it and pasted it over here. So I would recommend you do that as well. Copy and paste all your backup URLs and put them in a text file somewhere and that way you have them readily available um, anytime you need them. If you want to, you could always go figure out what the URL is by looking at your FTP folders, but why do that if you don't have to? And then down here, you're basically agreeing that you don't have anything of value because uh, it's going to wipe out you know, your current website, which is fine because it's just going to replace it with whatever um, the backup is. So keep that in mind. If you've added new stuff, then this is going to wipe out whatever new stuff you've added. So you're basically going back in time to that instance of that website on the day you created it because it's going to basically import everything that was in that database at that time. So I'm going to restore from URL. And once this finishes, we'll go take a look at that post that I deleted and see that it's still there. Okay, it looks like it's finishing up. Okay, great. So it says you can visit your restored site here. And it says you may need to resave your permalink structure here. So let's click on that. And it's going to the permalink structure. Uh, we use the custom structure, so I'm just going to save it. I don't know if I really need to do that or not, but it told me that I may need to, so why not? 
and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my website and now I can see that search the web anonymously is back okay so that came from the backup as well as all the other posts um, basically it reconstructed the whole website so in theory I could delete everything and then restore it and it would be exactly the same as it was so um, if you're feeling frisky you can try that out alright that's all I've got to show you in this video in a future video I'm gonna show you how to restore to a different server which is a little bit trickier but it's not too bad so I hope you enjoyed this make sure you like my videos and subscribe to my channel and that way you can get all the great stuff as I publish it thank you